Hey, Salvador Brigham here. Welcome back to the Crowdfunding Demystified YouTube channel. On this channel, we talk about crowdfunding, Kickstarter, Indiegogo, and today we're actually talking about GoFundMe, and specifically why this is the best time to launch a GoFundMe campaign. If you're trying to raise money for personal crowdfunding expenses, this is the best time to do it. We're gonna get into why today. Again, my name is Sal. Thank you so much for joining me on this channel. And really what I try to do is to bring you teachings, tactics, and tools in order to raise money with crowdfunding. And one of the ways we do that as well is just try to put out good education, right? Try to put good information because really at the end of the day, your success is limited to the quality of education and information which you can act upon. And even if you're working really, really hard, if you're working off the wrong set of information, you're not gonna go very far. So what I wanna kind of draw your attention to today is actually a typical, incredible news story. And I've been seeing more of these come out as well about this platform. And I want to kind of just talk a little about that, dissect what that means for you, and then we'll kind of get into as well some of the tips and advice for getting started with a crowdfunding for personal expenses campaign. Okay, so let's get right into this. I'm gonna read sort of a little bit of the announcement here today. So first of all, uh, Algolia helps to increase engagement on GoFundMe by 15%. So why is this important? Well, first of all, going into this is basically an API search and discovery platform, and they were able to work with GoFundMe in order to increase engagement more than 15% and boosting click-through rates for primary searches, all of which resulted in greater donations. Um, they basically did a lot of different A-B testing. Um, they did basically through instant search and query suggestions. And they basically able to deliver more people to the kinds of fundraisers that they were looking to, you know, be connected with, and in that case, able to raise more money for GoFundMe. To give you a quote here from the senior product manager at GoFundMe, often donors visiting our websites are searching for fundraisers or causes with minimal information, sometimes only a name, location, or small detail about the cause. Allegolia's search and discovery platform has been critical in helping prospective donors connect with the causes they are searching for, as well as discover new ones that are appealing to them. The success we've previously gained by using Allegolia has built an exceptional user experience, has made an easy decision to go forward to expand our investment. New A-B testing helps GoFundMe to further optimize the user experience and increase donations. While Allegolia has helped campaigns become more discoverable, it has also reduced the technical overhead burdens of GoFundMe's engineering team by eliminating the need for countless hours of maintenance that would be required by alternative platforms. So what does this mean? To kind of get it out of the techno babble, what this basically means is that they've been able to work through a whole new algorithm to improve engagement on the actual GoFundMe website and as a result, increase donations. So basically people who are looking to donate to particular causes are more easily able to discover your actual cause. In addition, they're being hit with as well recommendations and they might go on to support other causes. So for discovery, um, for looking for specific campaigns, it's getting a lot easier to actually do that as a user, as a donor, when you're using the GoFundMe platform. When you begin to improve the algorithms, any kind of platform out there, whether that's Kickstarter, or Indiegogo, or whether that's more of a social media platform, or whether that is GoFundMe, the platform itself, it allows people to actually kind of blow up much easier. It also allows people to discover your specific campaign if they hear about it somewhere on the news, or they hear about it as we talk about using the different techniques in the GoFundMe cash machine to actually get influencers to talk about you, or to get news media to actually talk about you, right? Or different ways you can spread it as well across your own social media profiles, or using other social media groups, et cetera, to get attention. Uh, which we talk about, then you can actually have more people that are easily able to discover your campaign, even if they don't necessarily have the link. Want to take all the stress out of fulfilling your Kickstarter rewards? Fulfillrate is the turnkey solution that puts product delivery on autopilot. The top campaigns use this trusted high-tech provider to store, package, and ship their products. Focus on growing your business. Leave shipping to the experts. Don't wait. Get a custom quote from Fulfillrate today. Link in the description. This is also extremely powerful for those people out there that are just kind of looking to help or looking to donate to connect to support or to be connected with interesting charitable causes. And because of the new powerful discovery entry and platform, they can do that in a much easier and much faster way with this new algorithm. So for you, that basically means that it's it's freaking, it's getting easier and easier for you to connect with people online who are interested in helping you when it comes to crowdfunding for personal expenses, whether that's travel costs, whether it's educational costs, medical bills, could be even business costs, whatever you're trying to money from it could be for wedding for etc um, it could be for a mission trip all these different reasons that you can actually do crowdfunding for personal expenses you can now connect with donors in a much easier and much faster way using this new api using this new algorithm so as a creator you know, as a person who's launching a campaign your experience might not change very much but what you will see is more people that are actually discovering you in an organic way and more people able to connect with your cause 
What are some of the ways in which you can use this information to actually apply to your personal crowdfunding campaign or for your GoFundMe campaign? Let's talk a little bit about that. So first of all, this is actually a lot, uh, a lot of the things that I talk about in the crowdfunding personal expenses book, which is available on Amazon. It's also available on Audible. And in addition, Audible is doing a new promotion where you can get a free copy of crowdfunding personal expenses. All you gotta do is hop on the link I'm about to mention that you can grab a free trial of Audible and you also get a free copy of crowdfunding personal expenses, which is a complete guide to actually raise money for your personal expenses using crowdfunding. You can go and check out the link at crowdcrux.com slash GoFundMe audio, and you will go and you can check out that link down below as well in the description of this channel, as well as you can search it on Amazon, crowdfunding personal expenses, and my name, and you'll come up with that book there if you're interested in getting more of like a paperback version or something like that. So that being said, basically what you can do in order to work this in your favor, first of all, be aware of the category that you're launching and some of the other campaigns that are there. So naturally there's gonna be a recommendation algorithm and the more you can kind of go and be in with other campaigns that are going viral, other campaigns that are doing really well, be aware of the campaign subject or the campaign category that you're also launching in. Number two is optimize your campaign for keywords. Make it easy for people to find you who are trying to discover you online. So this can be certain keywords, right, as it relates to an event that happens, certain keywords as it relates to you or your name, certain keywords that people are gonna know if they're trying to actually discover or come across your campaign in some way or search it up. Be aware of the keywords that you're using in the headline. Be aware of the keywords you're using in the actual campaign text. Be aware of the keywords that you are targeting because again, that's gonna really attract attention when people are actually searching you up or trying to discover you online. And lastly, the um, last kind of tip that I wanna leave you with is that if you are someone who's been thinking about doing a GoFundMe or a channel fundraising campaign, I think this is a great time to do it because again, the, the wind is at your back, right? If you're sailing down the river, the wind is at your back. It's getting easier and easier for people to discover your project more organically. It's getting easier for people to actually search you out who have heard about you in some way. And even if you have zero followers, that's literally why I found it and why I created the entire system that goes into the GoFundMe cash machine, which is really to take the best tried and true practices, some of the things I don't talk about as well on YouTube, and to put that all into this GoFundMe cash machine as well as all the templates, all the things you need to easily raise money, to speed up the entire process, the things that are proven to work in order to deliver you funds. I put that all into the GoFundMe cash machine. A lot of tactics, a lot of, a lot of learning, right, in terms of the things that work, and really the engine that goes behind a successful campaign. So if you wanna check that out, I will also link that up down below. I'll be honest with you, it is an investment. It's something you have to be willing to invest in. And also to be honest, like if you're gonna be doing this, if you're spending so much time anyway trying to learn this entire process, it makes sense just to speed up the entire process. And we have everything at your fingertips. You don't have to become a crowdfunding wizard or a fundraising wizard, right, in order to figure this out. You just have to use this system, use the engine for you, and you can get those amazing results that come with that. So if you are on the fence, make sure to learn a little bit more about this. I try to put up free videos for you so you kind of learn about this um, as you're going. Once you are ready to kind of take action, be sure to be aware of this new change because this can, again, really work in your favor. And the more aware you are of what's happening with the platform, the more success successful you can become. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Links down below. My name is Salvador Brigman. Go watch some of my other videos out there on this topic. Thank you so much for joining me. Give me a thumbs up if you do like this, if you like these videos that I'm putting out there, if you want me to put out more as well. And again, some people just aren't aware of some of the news and some of the headlines that are happening around this platform and others. So if you also like this new style of video, if you like what I bring to you, some of the different things you should be aware of so you can employ that with your campaign, leave a comment down below and let me know that you like this new style of video. My name is Sal and I will see you next time.